Hello friends, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. Welcome to my channel. So for today's DIY, I am sharing with you my Mr. and Mrs. Cat Pillows. These pillows were made using items mainly from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to share with you exactly how I made them. Now these pillows totaled about $6 a piece and I just think they are super adorable for the way that they came out being so inexpensive. You can recreate these yourself and again using items mainly from the Dollar Tree. So to get started I used two felt cats that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. One, which you can see here, is actually a felt craft kit where you put the embellishments and felt pieces on yourself. And the other one, which you can see at the top of the video screen, is already put together. So what I'm doing here is just laying out the felt pieces that came in the kit and gluing them down. And as I was gluing them down, I realized that this cat actually had a bow tie. So this is what I am calling my Mr. Cat, or this will be the Mr. Cat pillow. And when you're gluing this down, make sure that you, if you're using hot glue like I did, make sure that you pull the strings away so that you don't see them because this is black felt. It will show up on your felt uh, kitty cat. So make sure you just pull those strings out of the way and you'll be good to go. my Mr. Cat all complete. I sat it next to my Mrs. Cat and just kind of looked at him and thought they will be a very cute pair sitting on my couch as pillows. Next up, I got some heat and bond from my local craft store. I actually picked this up from Joann's and I got quite a bit of it for just a couple of dollars. As you can see here, I cut about a 13 by 14 I don't know, I just cut out a square um, piece of the heat bond that would actually fit both of the cats. And you can see here, I'm just lining them up to make sure that they both fit. Um, one was a little bit wider, so I kind of just had to tweak it because I wanted to make sure that I got all of the felt covering on there. And you can kind of see like some of it overhangs just a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how I will fix that in the next step. So I flipped it over and uh, put where I had the heat and bond on the top piece and then using my Cricut Easy Press, I actually pressed the heat and bond piece to my felt cat. And what this does is actually create a uh, side or a backing to the felt pieces that will allow me to adhere these cats to the front of my pillows. Now you can certainly sew these cats on by hand or with your sewing machine, but because I am not an expert sewer, that is just not something I was about. Now you can certainly do that, but I have been wanting to try heat and bond for quick and easy crafts that involve fabric, and so this was the solution I did for this DIY. So you can just see I'm moving it around on both of the cats to make sure that it is completely heated up and adheres to the back of the felt cat. done heating up the heat and bond I started at the corner and peeled away the paper backing and you can see here how the heat uh, part of the paper is actually now stuck to the back of the cats and it almost looks like a plastic thin sheet is on there which is kind of exactly what it is it is making these felt pieces into big if you will iron on patches um, so that's exactly what I wanted and what I did next was actually to make the front of my pillow took 
two pillowcases from the Dollar Tree, this orange glitter color, and decided that I needed two to make the front piece of the pillow. So I am actually putting them right sides together and will be using my sewing machine for this part, sewing a straight edge just down the one side. And it will make a seam using the two placemats together. This will be the front of my pillow and I am going to heat and bond and iron on one cat to one set of pillowcases. tree baby blanket I just really love the gray and white buffalo check and what I did was I just folded it over so that it was doubled up to be the size that I needed for the back of my pillowcase as you can see here and then I just cut the baby blanket down to size to actually fit the stitched pillowcases and I'm just trimming the edge here and as you can see the blanket is folded and so are the pillowcases but once I open it up they will be lined perfectly and I will have a back that is buffalo check and a front that is this orange kind of shimmery fabric. I did the same thing using a Dollar Tree fat quarter um, for the second pillow. You could easily do that as well if you don't want to use the felt blanket from the Dollar Tree. The fat quarters are about $1.47 in my Walmart and they are almost the perfect size once you open them up completely. So there's no cutting. You just have to sew it on to the side of your pillowcase. So you can see here I'm just finishing up uh, stitching the pillowcase together or the pillow together um, right sides together and I'm leaving a opening at the very bottom to stuff my pillows because these are not going to be cases they're actually going to be their own pillows so make sure um, that you line them up correctly you can see here at the very end I kind of got a little bit off because the fleece blanket from the Dollar Tree has a little stretch in it and so I just had this extra edge that I cut off once I finished sewing all three sides of my pillow Hello. I was done sewing I turned them right side back out and you can see here what they look like with the backs on them and here's my mister cat with the fat quarter piece from Walmart and then it was time to stuff the pillows so to stuff the pillows I just bought a five dollar pillow from Walmart and cut it open to use the batting or the stuffing out of it I just think that this is a lot easier um, to do it's a lot more cost effective and cheaper I think I actually got the idea from bargain Bethany and I'll link her uh, down below but this is just a cute and easy way to get batting and stuffing especially if your craft store doesn't carry it then once I had the pillows completely stuffed, which I was able to stuff two pillows, guys, with that one pillow, and they're about 16 to 18 inches by 16 to 18 inches, um, you can then stitch the bottom hole shut. You can use your sewing machine. You can do this by hand, or I've even seen some DIYers use glue, hot glue. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But here's a look at how they turn out on my couch. I think they are super... Super cute and fun DIY for Halloween this year. Let me know what you think in the comments and make sure that you hit the red subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.